Sure. My name is Kenneth Brett on the Creative Eight. I'm actually down here building the frame to the wall for the motorized projection screen that will be coming in soon. The one I'll be painting. This one right here is actually going to be shipped over to a friend of mine. He actually already bought this uh, later on in, in the daytime hours, or early daytime, daytime hours. He came up and brought this screen from me. So this motorized screen is his for right now. I'm just using it to measure out to put the frame in because we're going to do that uh, $68 white projection screen coated with Supreme technology uh, versus uh, elite screens. All right, so uh, in this demonstration, I'm gonna go upstairs really quick. I'm gonna show you a few things. We're gonna talk about a couple of things when it comes to white and black levels when it comes to Supreme technology. And I'm gonna get back to work down here. I still have much to do. I just wanna share that with you real quick. So let's pop upstairs real quick where the Wi-Fi is going to be much better to deal with. Now, if you're hearing something ringing off on my phone, uh, that is because I got notifications popping over through to other customers. All right, so let's take a trot around the house real quick. With the screen, let's walk forward. I was just eating a few minutes ago. I never get a chance to sit down and rest anyway. So let's go upstairs. We got a little bit of discussion to talk about. These are some projectors that a friend of mine dropped over. He no longer wants them. Basically, I'm just going to repair them and probably give them away to some charities for free. Oh, well, yeah, I'm getting charities for free. Probably screen there with it. All right, so just downstairs a few minutes ago, we're gonna pop upstairs in the room. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Now I've explained multiple times in my video demonstrations. I'll show you a bunch of sample sheets on the on the screen. And the first thing I'll do is I'll put the screen all in white. I do that always first. I put it in white. I'm using testing against high performance projection screens, or if I'm testing against screen paint mixes. I'm always going to put it in white because I want you to be able to see the difference between when our black technology displays white. And I've done this multiple times. All right, so what we're going to do first, we're going to go over a black screen will never have the ability to be able to produce a white level like a white screen. Virtually impossible. Only white screens can produce that white natural color. Now, if you take a gray screen, silver screen, they will never be able to match a white screen. A white screen just has that ability to produce natural whites, where a black screen can produce contrast, 100% contrast. Now, gray screens in between, depending on how dark the screen is, is it's going to basically take away more um, contrast, or it's going to take away more of a white level from it. Darker screens take away more of a white level, where a lighter screen is going to take away more of the contrast. Now, I call this the Harry Potter effect. The Harry Potter effect is when I have somebody who wants a black screen to be able to produce a white level, just like a white screen. That's the Harry Potter effect. That's the impossible effect. You want some, you want magic. You want to be, have the ability to be able to have a black screen produce a white level. That's like if you're saying, hey, I got a gray screen, and I want a gray screen to be able to produce a contrast level as black as a black screen. Virtually impossible. So this is why when we develop the technology, one of the things I pointed out about the technology is the fact that it has the ability to be able to produce a white level that is higher than a black screen. Because I explained before in my demonstrations over and over again that not all screens, black screens, have the ability to produce white light. One of the problems you will have when it comes to a black screen is white levels. And that's something our screen doesn't have a problem with. So what we're going to do is, as I always do, I go over and I hit the YouTube and I've done enough of these demonstrations. Now, one of the things, it's a, it's a, bit, of a, a bit of a bother, but when I see customers trying to compare a black screen to a white wall and try to get the same white levels that they're gonna get from a white wall, virtually impossible. It's like me taking a black screen and taking a gray screen and putting it against it and trying to get the black levels that a black screen's pulling off. Impossible. So, this is what we, I always do this in every demonstration. The first thing I'll do is I'll pull up an all white screen saver, as you always see me do. Now, before we go on the white screensaver, I like to display several different forms of light screens, either it's elite screens or so forth, screens that are much lighter than my technology. Now, the reason why people want the contrast because they want the color pop. They want the colors to explode off the screen. They want that deep, dark contrast. What is the point of paying that, getting that 20,000 to 1 or 10,000 to 1 contrast if you'll never see it to get, begin with because your screen can't produce contrast? So, what we'll do is here. We have quite a bit of sample sheets here. We'll go into the pile of elite screens. Their pile right here. And we'll start tagging them. We got the Gray Cinema 5D right here. Very light screen as you can see. 
And we'll put that, I'm going to turn the camera to the side because you don't need to see me. Put that right there. We'll put that right here. All right. We'll put the uh, cinema, I think this is a cinema gray. Cinema gray, especially when they're lighter screens. We'll put that right there. We'll cinema gray right there. Then we have another one. I think it's a 3D version. It's a silver. Actually, this is a silver screen. I meant to do, I wanted to, that's why I got the 3D. I forgot. I got the 3D because I wanted to do an actual silver screen on our screen. So the 3D is actually silver. So we'll put that up there also. All right. Now, not only is this demonstration being done to show y'all, this demonstration also will be done for future references when we actually explain to customers when they miss video demonstrations that I've done multiple times. This will be explained in our video demonstrations. Put that right there. I forgot that the Cinema Grade 3D was a silver screen. That's why I picked it up because a lot of people are asking what, between the difference between silver and white and all that stuff like that. So this is what we have right now against our screen. These are the lighter screens. All right, now as I showed you before, I told you in every, in every demonstration that there's no way in the world that a black screen will ever have the ability to produce a white level like a gray screen or a white screen. Now let me show you something. This right here is a white screen. We're gonna put up here. Let's come over here and let's take the white screen sample. Let's put this right about over here. All right. Now, I want you to look at the white screen compared to the, um, the gray screens. As you can see, the white screen is a 100% white level. There's no gray screen on the face of the planet that will ever match a white screen. Virtually impossible. Because a white screen can produce a natural white color. All right. I know some people think that they're gray screens. Now, keep in mind, next to that screen is a cinema, I think, a cinema gray 3D. That's a silver screen. That's a silver elite screen right there. Only white screens have the ability to produce a white level that high. So when you take our next to a black screen, um, a white screen, you're expecting for the white levels on our technology to produce as high as a white screen. When a gray screen can't even pull that close. But let me show you something. I've done there yet. Let's pull up a. Um, let's grab ourselves some black. Now, as I said, one of the things about our technology, our technology has the ability to pull white levels. Black, any black screen can pull a contrast level. Any black screen can pull a contrast level. The problem is with some black screens, they can't pull a white level. So, screen comes out extremely dark because it can't pull white light. We'll show you that in a few minutes. We'll move this to the side. I'm put this right next to the black screen. So you can see this for yourself. All right, now, this is a black screen next to our technology. There you go. This is what I was trying to explain. That a white screen is always going to pull. When it comes to white screen, a white screen will always have a 100% white level. Black screens will have a 100% black level. But the problem is, is that white screens can't pull contrast. And black screens, certain black screens can't pull a white level. Gray screens, on the other hand, are stuck in limbo. They can't pull contrast and they can't pull white levels at the same time. That's why you have to go into the painstaking nightmare of calibrating your projector. So, this is what we're going to do here after we got the colors up here. Now, we're going to go over into some colors that matter because, as I said before, when it comes to white, a white screen will always have, when it comes to um, white, this is the color white, the color white will always have the ability to produce a white level that will never fade. Lights on, lights off, that screen will always stay the same. So, let's go over here and let's pull up the color. Let me see. We need the color red. Just anything like a different color. So we're going to come up here and we're just going to pull up the color red. If I can get my search to go over to where I need to go to. All right. So let's pull up red. Let me see if I can find red. All right. Now we're going to pull up the color red. When we pull the color red up, you will see that our screen maintains a red level where the white screen. There's no red at all. The black screen is pulling up too much contrast. And the gray screens in between, as I say, sit in limbo. They can't pull up contrast. They can't pull up proper white levels. And they can't pull up color. That's why the screen fades. That is the theory. Our black technology pulls a white level and black level at the same time. That's why it's not too dark. 
It's not too white and it's not faded in between. If I were to pour a blue level, let's go over to, uh, let's see, slow changing. I'm going to get this right here. This is actually would do, actually, everything to do right here in one hit. So this is going to change multiple colors. Should have picked this one out to begin with. So you'll see the screen fluctuate and change to different. And as it's fluctuated and changed in every color, you will notice that the supreme black, the colors always produce, they produce beautiful, rich colors, and that's what you want. Yeah, black screen has to be able to produce white levels and contrast at the same time. And this gives it the ability to produce bright, beautiful colors, but also to produce basically deep, rich colors, and also to uh, um, um, brighter and brighter white colors. Let me sit down for a minute because I'm a little tired here. So downstairs working on a lot of stuff. But this is some of the things I have to explain. This is what I do in my demonstrations. I just dropped that. Was that heavy? This is a lot of things I explain in my demonstrations. Anytime you see me do a demonstration, I will always show off a white screen first. Because, oh man, I just shut my projector off completely. Hit my uh, my kill switch. Hold on for a minute. I'm gonna hit my kill switch. It just majorly came down and just struck my kill switch right underneath of me. Let's turn my projector back on. There we go. So my it was right over by my floor. It wasn't sinking. I put my foot down. I stepped directly on top of the surgery. So this is what I'm, I'm going to try to explain. Okay, so the difference between our technology and another black screen is that our screen can produce a higher white level than any black. Now, comparing our black technology against a white screen is pointless because, as I said before, white screens are always a white wall, white gray screen, and even a black screen with no problem whatsoever. The problem you have with gray screens, gray screens can't produce contrast. And because they can't produce contrast, or white screens can't produce contrast, the image becomes dark and it starts to wash out. You can't see it. It becomes bland. No contrast. No pop to the screen. So as soon as I'm waiting for my projector to pop back on again, because I was dumb enough to step on my switch and knock it out, it should be on in about a few. So what we have up here is several elite screens. We have a white screen sample and we have a black screen sample. And that's my battery dying on my phone. Let me go downstairs and grab my battery, my charger. So I can charge my battery real quick. I think I'm at 15%, I'm not sure. I'm sure that we got that up and going. Okay, let me get this in here real quick. So I switched over to a color pattern change. So instead of me switching from blue to green to red, this is going to do it automatically. Makes my screen still stays the same when it comes to color. So I'm going to charge in. I want my battery to die on me. Where the white screen cannot produce any form of color whatsoever. Can't produce contrast, can't produce color. This is what you're actually, that's why when, I, when people do the colorful demonstrations, I can understand all that. But to truly show what this, how the screen is really performing, you have to do a color pattern. You have to do straight blues, greens, reds. That's what you have to be to see. So each individual color as it either performs better or as it starts to fail. That's what you have to see. The reason why People don't bother white screens because the fact that they can't produce contrast, they can't produce color. As you're watching it right now, you're watching this screen fluctuate and change colors. The black screen on the other end is always going to stay black because it can't produce a white level. You need a white level to produce color. That makes that's a difference between our technology and black screens on the market. I can put five or six different forms of black screens up here, different surfaces, and every last one of them will turn dark against our screen because our screen has the ability to pull a higher white level. Where if you're dealing with a gray screen, gray screens, like I guess I call gray screens a limbo screen because a white screen, yes, it's going to produce a high white level. It's white. 
Black screens will produce a high contrast because it's black, but a gray screen is stuck in between. They can't produce contrast and they can't produce white levels. A white screen will always produce higher white levels than any gray screen on the market. As you're seeing right here. Ambient light rejection, and it's worth one of the things too. I talked to a fellow who basically deals in the field of home theater setups and all that stuff, you know, great big form site. And one of the things we were talking about is a lot of these screens I hear now are passing for ambient light rejection screens. Anything now is considered to be ambient light rejection. The way I see it is if a screen basically, um, well, ambient light rejection, they, they can use the screen in a fully environment. The demonstrations I see now are pretty much demonstrations that are preset to make these screens look amazing. There's no real hardcore uh, test showing how these screens should be reacting in ambient light mm -hmm. because you have a few lights peppered out through your environment. That's how your screen is supposed to react. Now, let me show you something right here. As I showed you the multiple colors, I always do this every time. We'll go back to white. As a matter of fact, even better, let's go to a black contrast demonstration. Keep in mind, we have sunlight pouring in through my window. So it's quite bright in here. All right. So if you wanted to do something like Let's go with just something simple with and that's the first thing people say, you know, the minute they contact me, a minute any light comes on in my environment, my screen washes out. Well, let's check this out. Let's go over and pull up an LG, the fish demonstration. That's one of the darkest demonstrations that um, the beta fish is moving back and forth. My fault, we don't have the sound bar attached. To this at all, so I need to attach the sound bar so we can control the sound so it's not blaring out. No way it's going deaf because it's got headsets on there. Probably watching this video with headsets on. I do apologize for that one. So let's get the sound bar connected so we can control the sound because I cannot control the sound out of sound bar. Because the first con the first is well, look, the minute I turn the lights on, my screen washes out, I can't see it, this, that, and the other. I was on several forum sites yesterday. We're having debates on those sites about light gray screens not having the ability to produce contrast. And you got some screens out there that are so dark to producing too much contrast, where screens are just becoming oversaturated with just too much of a black level. Let's do this again. Go back a little bit more. Let's bring up the beta fish. And I want you to see, I want you to look at this. This is how much light. You see that light coming in through my window? That's the kind of sunlight that pierces through my environment just about every day when that sun drops to the background. That's how much light this room takes in. So there is sunlight piercing through my room right now. And if you notice, my screen in a fully lit environment with sunlight piercing through the window, see that sunlight piercing through the window? My screen is maintaining a contrast black level and bright, beautiful colors because it has the ability to produce white light and black light at the exact same time. The purpose of my technology is to give you the ability to be able to use your screens in fully lit environments, to be able to have color pop without your fading. Now, if you're using a white screen and you're trying to produce, have our technology or match against a white wall and say, hey, look, it should produce a white level as bright as a white wall, that's virtually impossible. I've said that many times in my demonstrations. That's like trying to get water out of a stone. You're going to have pros and cons when it comes to screens. One thing about our screens, our screens can produce a white level that's higher than any black screen out there on the market. Bright enough where I can put on colors and my screen can come bright enough to match some of these light screens I hear we have on display. Let me come over and show you real quick. We'll pull up. Let me see. It's a very bright demonstration right here. Now you see what happens when you don't have contrast? This is a bright image. There's no hardly any contrast in this demonstration. Nice, bright, it's metal, and, you, and your screen's coming up tan. You know why? So that sunlight that's piercing through my window right now, you can't have your windows like this because your screen will wash out. My technology can pull an image. There's my, if you keep in mind, if I can pull an image outside, this is nothing. My screen sit outside in this kind of, in this kind of uh, element. But the one thing I like, like I said, is the Harry Potter effect. They want a black screen to be to produce an image like a white screen. And that's like saying that I want a gray screen with the ability to produce an image like a black screen. It's virtually impossible. 
The only thing I can do when it comes to black technology is produce a, a screen that can produce a high enough white level where it's not noticeable. Now look at this. With all the ambient light rejection in the world, your screen won't pull up because you have no contrast. doesn't make a difference. You can have the most powerful gain in the screen in the world. It doesn't make a difference. If you have no contrast, you're not going to see anything. You can't pull a black level. And I'll just show you right there, right here, nice and bright. Should I move to this? I'll move to this side because I want you to get the window light that's piercing through my window and hitting nail on that screen. I want you to see this. Let's put on something a little bit more deep, colorful. No gray screen, and I lie to you not. No gray screen on the face of the planet will ever have the ability to produce contrast like a black screen. Does it make a difference how if you have a 0 0.9, if you got a 0 0.10, if you got a 0, if you got a 20.20 .20 in gain, it doesn't make a difference. If you have no contrast, your screen is going to wash out. Do the brighter your screen is, the more white light is going to reflect off your screen. I'm using a projector of only 3,300 lumens ultra short throw, which means the throw distance isn't that far from the screen. The screen should easily be able to pick up because the throw distance has to travel that far. Even with the throw distance, consider, consider the fact that. Even with the throw distance and the environment, it's not traveling that far. The screen should still be able to put a bright enough and colorful image, knowing that it doesn't have to go that far. You're not, going to, you're not going to lose that many lumens between here and there because the throw distance is short. But yet the image, it's coming to fade it. Because you can't pull a contrast level. That's why you have to be in the dark. That's why when using these screens, you have to sit in the dark. There's no point in having an ultra short though. This is an ultra short projector right there. Have a projection screen that reacts like a TV. It sits nice and close to the wall. There's no wires all over the place. That's the kind of experience they want. What's the point of having it if you can't see it? Look at the black screen on the other end. It's not even pulling up anything at all because it can't pull white light. And these aren't gray screen paint mixes. These aren't homemade paint. These are professional screens. This is, oh, this is elite screens sitting up here. Professional high and high grade screens. Let's go over here and let's just grab something. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. That's why I was showing you in a demonstration the straight colors first. Straight blue, straight green, straight red. So you can get a good idea to see how badly your colors fade. Now I'll show you the full picture and you see what you get. Look at the ocean. It's supposed to be blue. I'm down my door shop. I'm going to go into that now. I'm just trying to figure out how to get that thing up and going. Let's charge it real quick. The reason for it, and I want to make this crystal clear, the reason for our technology is to give you better contrast, to give you better color pop, to give you to be a projection screen and a fully lit environment without the fear of your screen washing out or fading. So you don't have to sit in the dark all day long. But if you're trying to compare our black technology white levels to a white screen, that is virtually impossible. It has limitations. If I could develop a black screen that can produce a white level as high as a white screen, that would be remarkable. But as you can see, the white levels on the screen are dark. If the screen was so dark, you would not be able to make it out.
Now, think about the levels of what people say dark. If the screen was this dark, so dark, it would look exactly like the screen right there. You can make out everything in the screen in some. Let's come out of here real quick. Let's pull up a another demonstration. Let's pull this one up right here. Have the sound activated. Move my cable here a little bit. I want you to get some of that sunlight in here. I want you to see that screen with that sunlight hitting, that went, hitting the screen. Now, sunlight isn't directly hitting the screen. It's actually probably passing the screen, but it's enough in here to illuminate the environment. Okay. Now, let's go over here really quick. Let's pull up a... Night in Paris. This is why in every demonstration, every demonstration I do, mark my words, go back and check them for yourself, please do. In every demonstration, I will show a line of screens, I will switch over to a white screen saver, I will show you the white levels on their screens versus our technology. I will switch over to red, blue, green, yellow, pink, show you multiple colors so you can see where these screens actually fade and wash out. And I will show you black level demonstrations. Then I will take the screens off and show you all black screens versus white levels, showing you how our screens can produce a much higher black, white level than any black screen. Buy the book and thorough. I don't know how in the world anyone could actually miss that. Now, if I did a demonstration on my black technology versus not black contrast, and I showed you no white levels whatsoever, then that would be something to be concerned about. Some people will pick and choose what um, displays to show because their screens will have a better chance of showing a better image in this particular environment. I take my screens and put them in all kinds of uncomfortable environments. I know for a fact that I tell you from the door that there's no way in the world that this black screen is going to produce a white level as high as a white screen. But a white screen or gray screen can't produce contrast. And I'm showing it right to you right here. Look at the white screen completely faded out. Oops, come out here for a minute. So, okay, now this is what we're going to do next. All right, we already proved the theory that if you're looking at a white screen, oh, wait, 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 let's go, let's go to the rose. We got to do the rose. We got to do the rose. As a matter of fact, better than that. Let's do this. I'm going to show you something real quick. Let's show you a Sony. Sony has an amazing thing like to do. Let me see. Let's take this out real quick. And let's put in a Sony. I got the Sony demonstration, Sony 4K card demonstration. It's a particular demonstration that they show a lot of really deep reds that I like. This is why you got to be in the dark with these screens. You have to be. Contrast is everything. The hardest thing people don't understand, when you develop a black screen, the hardest thing when developing a black screen is you have to compare it against other black screens. You can't compare it against gray screen after gray screen after gray screen. I know darn well this screen is going to be able to perform better than a gray screen or white screen. It has, it has a much higher contrast level. What the real test comes in is testing a screen against another black screen. That's the real test. You see which screen is going to display either a higher white level or maybe they both might display the same, same amount of blackness. You might not even get a white level out of it. Now think about the shades of color I was showing you. This is why I was showing the shade, the solid shades first.
Okay. Right up front. I want you to be right up front. This is the whole show. Now, this is what we're going to do next. All right. Now, I told you before that when it comes to the high end screens, when the high end screens, when it comes to uh, uh, gray, gray or white screens, they can't produce a contrast, as you're seeing right here. This is a white screen right here. I saw I had one time we were doing something for a church, and they had a 7,000 lumen projector, and they were hitting a white screen with it. And it can, for some reason, when it comes to churches, our, our, our companies are using white screens. They figure the more higher they go on the lumens, that the, the image is going to show up. That's not true. What you're doing is you're adding too much white light to the screen and you're whitewashing your screen. That's pretty much what you're doing. So let's come over here and let's, uh, it's the same scenario like if you, you ever heard the term of being snow blind. If you walk out in the middle of a snowstorm without sunglasses on, you can't see jack. It's just too much white light. But the minute you put those dark shades on, you can see everything crystal clear. Same scenario. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come out of here. We already proved, and it's hands down proved why a black screen is going to be more superior than a gray screen. So let's show you the difference between our technology and another black screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and we're going to go over to let's, let's keep it at black first. Let's go to the black the black screen table first. All black first. Yeah, all black. I mean, all black. All black background. Black video background. That's what I just need. Something all black. Let's come out of here real quick. Let's get that all black background real quick. I need you to see the effect on this black. Black level test. One of these should come up solid black. Let me see. All right, we'll take this one right here. Now, this is actually just playing a solid black image. The projector is projecting black now, black light at the screen. Not even picking it up. All right, how about this? How about we get a screen that's gunmetal? Gunmetal screens are very dark. We'll take one of these and put this up into the screen, see if it produces black. Just like when we did with the white screen, we do the white demonstration showing off white screens, uh, how they pull up a high white level. This is vice versa, but except for we're pushing off black light to the, to the, um, to the screen. So we'll come over. And by the way, to Remember, the, I started a demonstration I did where Mr. Crow was trying to explain that my screens were actually gray. That's a black screen, my friend. As we can all see, it's black. Let's come over here, and we're going to take the gunmetal screen. Take the gunmetal screen. If it pulls up a black image, it should come up as dark as that right there, because that's an actual black screen. So I'm going to turn this to the side real quick, just for a minute. All right. Look over here. All right. Let's see what we get. Do we get black? Does, does, does it pull contrast? And it doesn't. All right, I think that's the darkest one we got there. Let's go with uh, let's go with the dark here. We have uh, the Dark Star Nine. Dark Star Nine is a very dark screen, as you can see. This is another. I don't know if this is not too much gunmetal. Gunmetal, it's kind of interesting. Gunmetal has a kind of bluish kind of black to it. That's you ever Google gunmetal? That's what you'll get. It's kind of a bluish black screen. Usually black diamonds have that kind of texture. They have, they have a kind of gunmetal design to them. So as you can see, very black surface right here. We'll put this up here. We'll see what we'll get. We're going to pull a black image. Now, you can see my screen is black, right? The uh, vinyl, this is actually black plexiglass. That's black. Everything else is not pulling up black. So we'll try this one right here instead. And we'll put this and see if we pull black. All right. See what we get. I'm trying to get my uh, charger. There we go. Now, let's go grab, uh, let's see. Let's grab some cardboard painted with everyday black paint. Clean it up a little bit. And let's put that right over, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see. Let's put that right over here. At the bottom. All right. And we are doing a black, as you can see, it's on. 
Come out here and just pick something else with a little bit of a color bounce in the back of it. So that way you can see that we are pulling black. Now, you see the theory here? The same way, if somebody were to try to match our black screen against a white wall, they wouldn't be able to pull a, a, um, a high white level, a, a natural white level, all right? But if you take a gray screen, right, an everyday gray screen, and you try to match it against black contrast, you're not going to pull up a black level at all. Let's grab me another one right here. Let's grab, uh, let me see. I mean, if you have a gray screen at home, you have a projection set up, try it. Try to pull black off alpha gray screen and see what happens. See if you can do it. Let's go with the beautiful flowers. In this demonstration, the background is always supposed to remain black. Bring it all the way back to the very beginning. So we should pull up color and it should pull up the black levels at the same, at the same time. Now look at the black house paint. This is black house paint. With the white screen. Now that's like somebody telling you that, okay, I'll get a white screen. I'm going to take my white screen. I'm going to put it against a black screen. And I'm going to try to pull a night sky or an eclipse or deep outer space using a white or gray screen. You're not going to be able to do it. It's virtually impossible. Same thing goes with a black screen. If you're trying to do a black screen against trying to pull high white snow levels to match a white screen, not going to happen. So let me show you something. The difference between what makes our technology more special than anything else on the market. Let's take down all the gray from this from, this, um, from the get all this. Get this all out of here real quick. Got a sample sheets. Get it up. 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 Get them all out of here. Get them all out of here. All right, let's get them all out of here, and let's go pull up our black samples right here, right there. We got one right there. It's pretty nice right there. Take a look at that. There we go. Got all black on the screen. I think I got another black sheet of black here somewhere. Let's see. Got another piece in here. Some black. And then have some black vinyl. There you go. There's another one here. Right there. All right, we got, I want to find the vinyl. I think I have the vinyl right here somewhere. Got some black vinyl. I can figure where I put that at. And this is the part that's hard for a lot of people to accept right here. This is the hardest thing when it comes to our technology. It's hard for a lot of people to accept. Is the fact that our screens can pull up a high white level. Look at the color. Look how dark it is. No matter what surface you choose, it's always going to come up too dark. But when it comes to our technology, we can put these high bright reds. Watch this. I can go over to the color right now. Let's see. I don't want that color change in display. Let me see. Let's see if we can just put red and see if that brings up that color change in display. Because that's what I want to get. There it is right there. Let's put up that color change in display. And let's show you what our technology does. Now, this is everyday black screens versus our technology. This is what makes our when people say, well, our, our screens come up too dark. There you go. You can see for yourself how bright our technology is compared to any black screen on the market. But if I were to take a light gray screen and stick it up there, it washes out because it has no contrast. That's why our product is perfect. A lot of people don't want to admit that, but our product is perfect. This is what makes it perfect. It has to be perfect. The best of both worlds. Just because we don't match the high levels of a white screen 
keep in mind, a gray screen can't even match the high, a, a contrast of our black screens. But we can produce a color without fading, and we can produce too much, we can produce contrast without the image becoming too dark. Watch this. Let's pull up some white levels on the, on the screen. As a matter of fact, let's just pull up anything and see what happens. See how faded the skin becomes on them? Look at this. Let's go over to, let's see, um, let's go over to random colors. So we're going to put white levels first. Let's not grab that. We already did this right here, the grays and stuff. Let's remove this because we already proved that point there. That this is not going to get you, this is the reason why you're calibrating your projector because your colors aren't coming up. So let's see what happens if we take our technology and put it against other black screens. Let's go to, um, hmm, let's do some snow. Now, when somebody says they can't see the image because the image is too dark, Let's see if you can see the image. Now this is what happens when you compare our technology to another black screen. This is how I get contracts. Because like I said, when I deal with big companies, and big companies want to buy 100 gallons from me, they want to buy 80 gallons, 100 gallons from me, I have to show them the difference between why my screen can produce a white level and what makes it different than black paint. Come out of here. Let's pull up some just random white levels. I did that twice. Let's see what else we got. Let's do the beach. Nope, not what I asked for. I asked for the beach. I want the beach area. Let's take that away. Let's go over to see if we can find anything in here. Some nice bright colors. Let's see what we'll get here. This is a nice one. I got a good one. Let's go with the HD jewelry. Let's so go into clear this. And we'll put in jewelry demonstrations. What's up? Nice and bright. So there's no point in me doing demonstration and testing my technology against other gray screens. It's a black screen. It's always going to have an advantage because it produces better contrast. The real challenge is to challenge my technology again. I'm sure it has the highest white level. That's why I'm interested in doing the black diamond. Black diamond is a very black screen. It's good. I want to challenge it. I want to see exactly what would happen if my screen goes against it and doing these different forms of demonstration. White levels, colors. And I'm definitely... So there's no way in the world for me to fake this. Virtually impossible. Live demonstration. I will be posting this demonstration on all our social media sites where we actually post that. Live as can be. There's no way for me to...
I'm gonna set up for brighter levels. What do we got here? Right. Oh, okay. This is beautiful. This is nice. Okay, there we go. This will work. Now, when somebody says that they can't see my screen because it's too dark. Here, I'll put you a little closer. That we can get a real good look at it. Now, it may not be able to produce a white level as high as a white screen. But sure enough, this white levels are nothing to laugh about. White levels on this technology is quite impressive, as you can see. crazy when you're on here hunting for white snow any white let's go with some bright white flowers let's see if we can get some bright white flowers on here i'll do that next white flowers bright white flowers let's go with some um oh, that one just came off that's gonna go right back up there too okay bright white flowers let's take all this off Let's put down some flowers. Some flowers. Those are nice bright white flowers. There we go. Real quick, let me grab my screen. It fell off. This would be the black house paint. This is black everyday house paint. Flat black house paint. That's what it is. Now, hopefully soon. I'm right now on a mission to try to track down any company. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm looking for. Any company that has a black screen, I would like to actually test your product against the 9 and 10. But especially against any company, XY screens, any company. This is my announcement to you. I want to see what you have. I want to see who has the best when it comes to a black screen. I'll pay for your samples wherever you want. Let's see what we got going on here. I need something with bright white colors. What are we going to get here? Oh, this, this is perfect. Hi, friend. Welcome. Whoop. Hey, that's not what I thought it was. I'm thinking there's going to be colors. There's some kind of show. What about this one? All right, this should give us something we should use. So that's something you got to be careful about. When you hear music being played in the background, you got to pull out of that because you never know if there might be copyrights on it. So that's why you got to be real careful when it comes to that kind of stuff. You may you see me do any videos and something, as music pops up, you see me pull out, that means that's the reason why. Because you never know if the music is actually copyrighted or whatever. I'm actually not going to do it from any something bright white, bright white. What do we got in here? Bright white. Does LG have anything? Okay, we'll do some snow. Oh, no, no. GoPro. GoPro has snow, snowmobile. Demonstrations, okay. Let's see, we got Snowville. Snow, 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 snow. Let's pull one of those up. Okay. Over here. I love how he was just crawling around in his face. He just got to walking around casual. Let's 
Let's see what else we got here. Um, let's look for anything white. Let's go to Snow Screensaver. It's a white screen right there. I'm gonna do Snow Screensaver. <coughs> Sorry about that. Let's go to Snow Screensaver. Or Snow, no, go to Snowboarding. Let's do some snowboarding. Snow penguins, snow penguins, come on, snowboarding, 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 snow, 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 snow. Speaking of snow, we just got snow a couple days ago. Look for snowboarding. For anything with bright whites in it, anything I can find that basically the display, what I need to display. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me see, we got snow falling in the background. Let's pull that up. Let's pull this up and see what we get. All right, we just look for everything random snow. The brightest white we can find and go against it. So what we have up here is three black screens versus our black technology on white levels. So we're just randomly looking for anything that has anything to do with snow. I don't care what it is, bright white. Let's check this out one. All right, that's not bright enough for me. This is not bright enough. I need something really freaking bright. Like supernova bright. Um, let's go with the snowboarding. Snowboarding, GoPro snowboarding demonstrations are really bright. So let's see if we can get out of that. Now, Matt, let's start with the LG. LG would be better if I do it with LG because LG always comes up under snowboarding. If I do this, I've searched over, over and over and over again. That should pop up. Space. Okay. Snowboarding. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want. Bring up something nice and bright. Let's go with this one. Since we've done this one before. So, about my screen being too dark, I'm going to see this video. Now remember, not to beat a dead horse with that people. Look at that. It doesn't want to stay. The screen doesn't want to stay up there. It just doesn't want to stay. Like, no, I'm coming down. No, you're not. Now keep in mind, if you look at these screens up here, real quick, let me get this up sample. This other thing I put up here. Whoa, Jack, I just caught y'all just in time before y'all fell. Just in time. Boy, if you had VR glasses when you were watching that, it would have been a trip. It's not going anywhere now. It's going to stay up there. All right. I'll be back. Let's go back real quick. Now, keep in mind, I want you to look at the borders on the side of my screens, here and here. Look at my borders, all the way down. See them? They're black. All the way around, they're black. In Mr. Crow's demonstration, he said my screen was gray. It's not gray, it's black. Because that's the only way some people can accept the fact that how in the world does he have a black screen that's producing a white level that high that's actually making all the other screens look dark. And they're black, just like his screen. How is that possible? So the only conclusion he could come up with is his screen has to be gray. But you're looking at my board on my screen. They're black. Let's try to find something. I'm trying to find some really bright colors, man. Some white. You know, we'll do colors. We'll do everything. I just want to find something that, uh, something with a lot of, let's see, this is pretty cool. Trying to get something here that's not gonna um hmm. okay, let's check this out. Okay, I don't know what that's all about, but that's just something different on a whole nother level. All right, um, let's go over here. Let's just pull up uh white scenery or white flowers, white cake, anything. If you take beautiful colors and display it on a black screen, 
Let's go with uh, 4K color. Colors. Let me see. 4K colors. Is back. Let's go with. Uh, we got spaces. I want bright, beautiful colors on here, so you can see exactly how dingy and dirty these colors will come out if you don't have proper white levels in a black screen. Call for 4K videos. Here we go. Let's pull this one up. See, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. A screen has to be able to pull. All right, now as you're seeing, that's what happens when you hit a white screen. White screen can't pull color. Can't pull it. And we're using ultra short though here. Well, ultra short though protector is 3300 lumens. It's not sitting that far from the screen. So the distance the screen has to travel at, it's not there. Which means the screen should be pulling up much better because the distance throw isn't that far. So now you lose color if you use a white screen. You sacrifice color, you sacrifice contrast, it's not there. And my projector here I'm using has a 10,000 to one contrast. So we'll go with the next thing people go with is a gray. That's what they choose next. So we use a gray. A gray color than the white screen. As you can see, you get a tad little bit more color because there's a little bit more contrast into the screen. But you're still getting a washed out image. The color pop isn't there. And if the screen is too dark, then you lose it all. You have no color, you have no contrast, we have too much contrast, you just have no color in the white level, that's gone. Let's pull out, I know a really, really good one, let's pull out the, um, which one is it? Oh, we've done that already. I want something nice and bright. I got one we can pull up that actually do a great job. Skyward illustrations are really always bright and colorful. Do the food demonstration. Nice and bright. Let's see how it pops up. Man, that's, look at that. That is, that is, it, it's, never mind, so leave it be. You know, reacts work to a black screen? I tell you right now, one of the things I had a problem with when I was actually dealing with customers, I first started off with black screens. They were telling me that, well, ultra short throws won't work well with a black screen. Ultra short throws have to work with a light gray screen or a Epson, an Epson uh, 585W on a wallpaper screen. Our technology is ultra short though compatible. And that's why I had the sides black right here. I want you to see the sides because it was claimed that my technology is now not black. It's gray. It's a purplish kind of gray or purplish whatever, but it's not black. We all know our colors here, correct? The side of the borders, look at them. They match the screens. It's a black screen. It just has the ability to produce white light. That's all. Not an easy thing to do. It's a very, very difficult to, to, thing to do to get a black screen to produce a white level. Not easy to do. It takes years and years of work to do it.
I got another demonstration here. This is another beautiful light. Now, like I said, I said many times before, flat screen, and I said it before, and you always watch me at every demonstration. Anyone who's ever watched my demonstrations, I will always display colors first. I'm going to always display different sets of like light gray screens against my screen. I will do dark screens against my screen. I will always show you a white level. In every demonstration, I will always show you a white level. Because I want you to see that the, even though the white levels on our black technology may be lower than a white screen, may be lower than a gray screen, Compared next to any form of black screen, the white levels are amazing. It's not it's it's not the image. It's, I'm not showing you like okay, it'd be different if I was showing you an image that looked like these screens right here. Then you can complain to me and say, hey Ken, guess what? I can't see the screen. But I'm showing you a demonstration on other black screens showing that our screens can produce a much white level so high that your screen is not going to come out so dark that you can't see it. And it also, pretty much, you know, when people say, what is the difference between your product and black paint? Well, the screen in the middle, that's black paint. That is, these are all different forms of black, sir. That's actually black plexiglass right there in the corner, right there. Now, if my screen literally was that dark, perfectly with all these other screens up here, no problem. Really, really, I'm trying to find anything on here that's just as bright as bright can be. When it, okay, here's, here's a good one. I told you, anytime you hear music playing in the background, there's a chance it could be licensed. So you definitely want to play around with that one too much. So I'm going to bail out those right. Um, let me see what we got going on here. Well, that was pretty fast. I don't know what the heck that was, but whatever. All right. Let's pull something else. Trying to find something nice and bright here. Okay. No, they're not good one. Let's pull up Sony. Sony has really, really good white level demonstrations. Let me see. They got one that particularly. Not that one. There we go. Better. Much brighter. Much brighter. Now keep in mind, the one in the center is actually flat black house paint. That's what it is. Just black paint. So that's the best results you'll get. Let's 
It's good. Trying to get you right up in the front. Just want to get you right in the front so you can see everything. Nobody's missing anything. I want you to look at the sides of my screen very carefully to show that the color is black on my technology. This is why I explained that when it comes to a black screen, some people think it's all about contrast. It is about contrast, but the most important thing that a black screen has to be to do is pull white light. White light is very important for black screens to be able to pull. Without that white light, you get those images right there. See what I just got here. This testimony right here. Somebody next time I'm gonna sit there and tell me that my black technology is too dark. There you go. That's the difference between my black tech and anything out there on the market. Next week I'm going on that, which means I'm searching for any company that has a black projection screen. I'll leave my email at the bottom of the video. If you have something that you think that can match our technology or better it, it's even better than what we have. Contact me. I'm interested. This is just an eight. Nine and ten are far, far more severe than this right here. And this is just an eight. Let's see if we can get some lights out in this place. Let's 
So you can put contrast, no white level. Now, since the lights are out, you can see the image a little bit better on the other black screens. You can also see how bright our technology is compared to any black screen on the market. Like I said, there's no way in the world we'll ever have the technology to be able to, I don't know, I can't say never had, who knows, but right now, a Supreme 8 um, uh, white levels will never have the ability to match a white screen or a light gray screen. But the white levels are so high and so amazing that you're not going to miss it in any way whatsoever. We had this video real quick. A little farther in. Hold on. Need to bring the icon up.
That's interesting. Let me get a white, let me get a sample, a gray sample. Let's take a gray sample of, take a gray sample and see what happens. That's an interesting, interesting kind of random of uh, displays right there. That right there. And this is some really interesting to look at. I love it. Once in a while, I find something weird on here that displays black and white colors that fast. That is pretty interesting. I wonder what would happen if we take some gray and put them all in there. Let's see what happens with the lights up. That is really interesting. You see what's cool about that? When it comes down to black, gray screens can white level. And when it comes down to the black screens, which is not our technology, they can pull contrast, but they can't pull white level. But our screen can pull, when it comes to a gray screen, a fair white level. And when it comes down to basically producing a white level, black screens aren't pulling up anything. That is freaking cool. That's pretty cool. Let's go pull this off. That is really cool. So if our white levels were that dark, then they would come up the same color as these dark screens right here. But they're not. White levels are coming up a bit of, they're, coming, they're still coming up light. They're just not coming up as bright as the white screens or the gray screens. But the gray screens are producing a higher white level than our screen, but they can't produce contrast. I don't have the mic. Um, let me see. Well, it doesn't make a difference what we use. Watch this. It's a. Keep in mind, it's a it's a, um it's a black it's black house paint. So, black house paint, black vinyl, black material. You just can't pull white level. It doesn't make a difference what I put on it. Any one of these screens are going to fail miserably. Our screens, the only one's going to be to pull a natural color because it's pulling white light. Now, if you're wondering what the technology is, this is wallpaper. These are wallpaper projection screens. I just did a video, I think a few minutes ago, showing up a customer's wallpaper screen. But if you think I find that they could paint the screen with black paint, knock yourself out. Go ahead, see what happens. This is what's gonna to happen to your screen if you hit it with black paint. Because like I said, the theory was for the longest time that our product was black paint. We're showing you black paint. Well, this is black paint, and this is our technology laying against paint. What do you think? 
Watch this. Screen doesn't change when the lights come on, but that screen right, these screens right here can't pull anything. Any screen, any black screen can pull contrast though. If I go in right now and I do a, um, if I do a Starfield demonstration, these screens will pull black, no problem. You can't, can't pull white, that's the only problem, that's the problem they have, they can't pull a white level. But let's do a Starfield. The Starfield screensaver. Right there. Take our lights out. It'll pull contrast. Any black screen can pull contrast level. Any black screen can do it. The problem is it can't pull white light. If I put on an all black screen saver, well, I want the all black one. Well, that's, deep, that's actually a little darker than the other one. Let's see. If I go in here and I pull up, uh, let's see. Anything I'm popping black is going to pop up. Now, if I go in and pull this up. Or if I go and I pull up, got to get that one just fell off. Try to escape. Let me grab that real quick. I'm going to try to escape. Put that right back up there. That's why I'm doing this with the lights out too, just to show you. That there is no in between. And if you have the lights out, and keep in mind, it doesn't make a difference because my projector does have a 10,001, but it really doesn't make a difference. And we won't be to really do that demonstration until you do the light screens up there. But Let's try gray. What do you think would happen if we hit it with gray? Yes, yeah, so it's not going to go well. Just let you know. Light gray. Let's try. Beautiful creature. Man, beautiful creature.
Let me say something interesting. Hold on a minute. Let's go back to those black levels.
Just because you have a gray screen doesn't mean and you can't pull contrast. It's a, like I said, it's a tug of war at the same time. Even in the dark, the black screens bring up too much contrast. probably asking yourself what does that look like on a gray screen when uh when we get um uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically do a demonstration or, and i'm going to do a gray screen i want to use these sample sheets on the gray technology and a gray screen because without our black screen in the equation you're really i want you to see a full impact on what's going on in your living room that's what i'm trying to get you to in your living room your theater room wherever you have your screen at I want you to, I'm going to do a gray screen for you. Blow your mind. I'm going to take that black technology in front of it and watch your screen completely just crumble. It's just showing you what you're really getting. You know what I mean? And, and the thing about it is, it's really not your fault. It's not your fault at all, period. You know what I mean? I used to develop gray screens. You Come on. Now, I used to, debate, I used to design gray screens and server screens. I did that stuff already. It's just I got to a point where basically I'm developing this stuff that I figured out black technology was the best way to go. And I never looked back. There's no point in me. To, I would never, ever develop a gray screen. Never. There's no point. But, you know, you'll see. That's what we're going to do is put the lights. Well, actually, if this technology, we can do the lights on, but the um, gray screens won't be, won't be to handle it. They're not going to, they can't pull color. And my short throw projector right here, look it up for yourself. It's into one contrast. It is 3,300 lumens ultra short throw. It's literally sitting right up on top of the screen at 10,000 to 1 contrast. So how is it possible that these screens are not picking any contrast? No bright reds, nothing at all. It's just coming out a real faded image. But if I take the lights out, then you got a better chance of basically getting a somewhat decent picture. But still, with the black screen being there, you're really just seeing the screen actually wash out in front of you. Because that black screen is going to pull contrast. It's going to pull a higher color pop. Where the black screens, on the other hand, are pulling up too high of a contrast level. And the screens aren't pulling off a white level, which means the image is coming out dirty. All right, see that right there? Get nice and close so you can see it. Either too dark or too light. There's no in between. That's why I said now white screen. Oh my goodness, white screen all together is just ugh. I don't even know how people make a white screen. Why do they still make white screens for what? White screens just don't pull up anything at all. There's your option on a white screen with an ultra short throw projector with a 10,000 to 1 contrast. That's what I said. It doesn't make a difference. 10,000 to 1 contrast, you will never see it. You'll never see it. Never. And you're paying for it. You're paying for the 10,000. They're not giving that to you for free. You know, anywhere on the projection screen company's going to give you a free 10,000 to 1 contrast. Oh, heck no. You're not getting free. You're paying for that. But you'll never get it. And keep in mind, like I said, we're using ultra short projector is not even traveling a distance it is actually my projector sits back probably about about a, maybe about i say about a foot I say about a foot about one foot away from my screen at 3300 lumens you know, optima gt optima gt behind me is only 3000 and this is what you get on a white screen so what they do is they go through the process of basically calibrating the projector so they can get better color 
you're still not going to get better color. You're just going to get a washed out image. The only difference between a white screen and a gray screen is the fact that one's going to produce a slightly darker and better contrast because of uh, because it's a, um, it has a little bit t a tad more contrast in it. That's it. That's why the darker the screen is, the more expensive you pay for. Black diamonds and all these other high end screens, these dark screens, you're not getting those screens for no three and four hundred dollars. That's not going to happen. Let me know when you can walk in and get an SL screen for three hundred dollars. You're going to pay money for those screens. All the way around. That's just bad mumbo jumbo. So consider the fact that, you know, if you go out and you spend, and keep in mind, this screen right here, this is a cinema grade, this is a server screen. Or 3D is a server one. But anyway, this screen right here, you let me know when for about uh for about uh, $468 or maybe $179. As a matter of fact, let's make it the promotional deal. $179, can you get this screen right here? What about, how about this? What about this right here? How about a gallon? Could you get a gallon of, a gallon will paint up to 100 and 80 inches. This is a Dark Star 9. See the difference between a Dark Star 9? This is a more expensive screen. These are called Prime Vision. Prime Vision. At least Prime Vision. These are the top of the line screens. These are the ones you pay the money for. Like I said, every projection screen has three categories of screens. They got the bottom dollar, which is a white screen. They got the mids, which is kind of bad boys. These are the ones that cost you $3,000 just for 100 inch. 120 inch, you got four grand. DMP Supernova. If you want a 180 inch screen of a DMP Supernova, I hope you got $18,000 because that's what that screen's gonna cost you. Think I'm joking? Look it up, I've done my research. $18,000 for a 180 inch. All right, so we'll take the Dark Star 9. Now keep in mind, compared over these screens, like the Elite screens and the DMP Supernova and other screens they have, Compared over everyday gray screen paint mix, these screens are far more superior. Well, you'll see that when we do the demonstrations. Far more superior, they are. The black technology, yeah, that's a different story. And we're all familiar with this screen, right? I'm gonna tell you something, you wanna say something interesting? I was on a form site last night I was doing a live demonstration. I was showing off my screen. And all these people were in there. You know, I had white screens and gray screens. They're set up and everything. They're talking about how amazing the picture quality is, the contrast. And I just popped in there with a video just saying, which is better, black technology or gray technology? And they all chimed in. I had the screen in all black. Didn't even show the image yet. And then, boom, when I showed the image, all white snowstorm. Same demonstration I'm showing you. I showed them over there. Gave them a lot to think about. So... When I showed them this sample sheet right here, most of them bailed out of the room. You know why? Because they own this screen. You see that gain on that screen? That's a 0 0.8 gain sitting on this screen. Now, our technology has an 8, right? So, you wonder how this would react on our screen. I'm going to look at it. It's their newest screen. Now, when I got the screen, I thought it was black. Oh, I was so happy. I thought it was black. I was like, wow, a black screen. Finally, a black screen to test against. It's not black. So it's black here, right? I'll show you something interesting. I've done this quite a few times. We're going to remove, let's see. Let's just take a, uh, well, we need the Dark Star 9. We didn't do the Dark Star 9 yet. We'll take this off. And we'll That's why I said there's no point... And when somebody texts their, tests their own mixes against their own mixes, that's not a test. I mean, if I, if I, if I have money, you know, say I got four or five grand to blow on a screen, right? And I can easily go out and spend $3,000, $4,000, even $18,000 for a screen. I still don't want to spend the money. Technically, if I could save the money and put it into something else, into my home theater system, like new chairs or maybe a full-size popcorn maker. I mean, something out of it, you know what I mean? But 
if I go and ask you about your product and say, hey, have you tested your product against this particular screen? Maybe a screen that I'm looking at buying that I had the money to buy. So say I want to go out and I want to buy the Dark Star 9. I got three grand to go buy that screen. I'm going to ask you, hey, if you tested your product against it, you can't show me videos, no demonstrations of why your product is worth my time or dropping money into because you can't produce a video showing me the difference between your technology and something like that. All you can do is show me demonstrations of your different forms of mixes, which really don't mean anything, to tell you the truth. These screens, right? It's like if you're a professional boxer, right? Nobody cares about you. Now you get into a ring with Iron Mike Tyson and you knock him out in the first round. Guess what? Your rank has jumped by a lot. You took out one of the top fighters, which puts you on the map, which everybody wants a piece of you because you did something that nobody else could do. That's boys. You don't go up to the bottom dollar for you. There's no point. Then, then when, you, when you test your own product, your own mix against your own mix, there's no point. You got to go after the big dogs. That's why when they have fights, they start you off at the bottom. And then as you gradually start to gain a little bit of publicity, then they start pitting you against the, the top fighters. Then you get that number one fight, and then, hey, you're on top. That's how it is. All right, so here it is right here. Look at this. My scenarios, people. There it is. That is right there. So the screen I just showed you has a 0 0.8, and has a 0 0.9. It doesn't make a difference on how high I gain the screen. Our screens have incredible gain. But keep in mind, I wonder what would happen, in curiosity, what would happen if we took that screen outside? It has a 0 0.8. Our technology has a 0 0.8. That has a 9. Now, keep in mind, none of these screens are designed to be outside. They're designed for indoor. But I'm curious, what would happen if we take it outside and we pull up an image? Would it come up? So let's go over here and let's grab our controller. And let's go back to the, the red scene. Let me have the red scene here, 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 here. Well, we got this scene. We'll go back to that one. This is lights on. It's 0 0.9 gain. Now, this is my theory here, right? My theory is the reason why none of these two screens are not coming up, and I can tell you why. Now, most people will look at this and say, oh, this is a victory. Actually, it's not a victory. These screens aren't ultra short, though, compatible. And I'll tell you why they're not ultra short, though, compatible. Because usually when you deal with screens that have a kind of reflective surface to them, kind of like if you do this right here, and if I were to stand here. Now, actually, the Dark Star 9 has a 180-degree viewing angle. This one, on the other hand, I don't know what this one is, but it, it doesn't do well when you turn on an angle. So when I turn on an angle, that screen right there becomes darker. These right here sometimes don't work with ultra short throws. Like I knew for a fact that the uh, DMP Supernova, they don't work with ultra short throws. Infinity Blades don't work with them. They get dark because that should be light up. Unless, unless the projector has to be, the screen has to be in line with the projector. Sometimes that could be, that might be uh, um, an issue too. So sometimes you have to have the screen, see how the screen reflects? I'm going to lay it down here. Watch this, see? It reflects. It's black one minute and dark the next these are, this is kind of reflective material. So let's see if we bring it down a little closer to the bottom. So we can get a better picture out of it. Wait, whoops, oh, we need you to stay, we need you to stay. I need you to stay, come here, okay. over here with me. Darn it, at least. I want to give you one thing, it lays flat. It lays very flat. All right, let's bring it down a little bit closer, all right? All right, there we go. Now see how the picture quality is better? It's because it has to be aligned with the projector. Well, there we go. Now let's see something. Let's see it. if we get the Witcher McCall if it pulls up. Because I want to make sure. This is the reason why I have to make sure on everything. I have to read on these different forms of sample sheets. Which one may be ultra short though compatible. Some may not be ultra short though compatible. If I do a demonstration and it's an unfair demonstration, then I'm, I did an unfair demonstration. That's all to it. No, they're about it. So I have to see exactly how this works. So where the image is pulling up right there. Let's take the lights on this. All right. And let's grab the controller.
Now, I want to get you to understand something here, real quick. In Tristan's demonstration, I saw it. Our technology, which was tested against a Paxson, I think it was, 0 0.8 screen, I think it was, pretty much the Paxson came up with an R screen. Well, here I am using Ultra Short, though, with a 10,000 to 1 contrast, much more powerful than the projector we gave him. And the image is pulling up exactly the same. Look at this. And my screen is actually darker than the, um, than the, um, than the, uh, the daylight screen. So let's take the lights out and look at it again. Keep in mind, our screen is darker than the daylight screen. Look at the white screen. Now, remember I told you about the Dark Star 9? Okay, it may have a problem with Ultra Short Throw. So let's take the Dark Star 9 and let's put it down here. The part that gets me I can't understand is, okay, look. If you have a projection screen, right? Shouldn't you be able to put the screen anywhere you want and shouldn't it light up anywhere you want? Like if I put paint the screen, it shouldn't should be dark here it should be dark here it should be bright all the way around so how is it that i have to redirect this piece all the way down here in order to get the image to pop up because if i take that image and i put it up there with a the dark star nine is that it becomes dark watch i'll show you so we're going to come over here and disconnect this right here take this up now look at it interesting isn't it it's a whole lot of stuff you don't know about screen. I know so much information on screens, it's not even funny. I know how to read them. I know how to react. I've tested these screens over and over again. It's certain ways to react. And the screen, because it has a reflective surface to it, it has to be in line with the projector, which means you have to center your projector just right to fit the screen or the image doesn't pull up. Because if I stick that screen anywhere on our screen, it's going to come up this color. Now, if I bring it all the way down here, the image will pop up. Now, watch this. Take it. There you go. So, consider the fact, as I'm showing you this, you do really you could paint this on just about any surface and you could set your projector any way you want and the image will pop up regardless now let's take the dark star 9 I'm gonna show you something here I'm gonna remove this all together so we can show you what let's put the lights on quick so you can see it so you can see we just tested against there you go all right, put that over there. Now the Dark Star 9, you see how it's not pointing an image? Let's take the Dark Star 9 and let's start to move it down. All right, we move it down. The image has to be adjusted to the projector. If you move it away, then the image becomes dark. Now viewing cone. Now let's take the Dark Star 9. And let's put the Dark Star 9 against the white screen right here. Much better image. Any one of these, any one of these screens here would be better. The, the proper screens out—they always test their screens on white screens. I guarantee you, bar none. I bet you a million dollars that any one of these big companies, when they test out their screens, they always test them on a white screen. A white screen is the easiest screen to beat. You could beat a white screen with everyday gray paint. You can go right down to Home Depot, buy some gray paint, smear it across the screen, beat a white screen. It's an easy screen to beat. There's no challenge in it. This is what they test their product against, a white screen. Now, if you were to, when we do our demonstrations, we have to test our demonstrations not only against screens that are lighter than us, but we have to test our screens on black screens too. I have to show the difference between my screen and a black screen. So if I take, uh, let me see. We'll go back for a minute because I'm going to give you a full, give you the full detail on it. So we got the white screen up here. I'm going to do an all white screen downstairs. We're going to put these up against the white screen. So you see how much better the color comes in right here, the detail, right? We'll take this off and we'll put up a, um, we'll put up a, um, we'll take the, the Paxson, right? 
So the difference between the Paxson and the white screen, this is how they test their screens out. See the difference in the color? Whoopsie. Anyway. Okay. We will grab a... Now, some of these screens are a little light. They might, they might not do too well. Here we go. See the difference? My earth screen is black and this screen is white, so I mean, kind of a light gray. So the fact that our screen is actually matching that screen with no problem knowing that screen is black. Yeah, that just shows you something really interesting there. Look at this. Okay. So anything against a white screen is going to look amazing. Anything against a white screen is going to look amazing. Anything you hit with a white screen is going to look amazing. doesn't make a difference. There's no challenge there in the test. No challenge there in the demonstration. If I'm saying, hey, look, this is a white screen, and this is the difference between our technology and a white screen with the lights out, look at the contrast level you are achieving over a white screen. And you guys are like, oh, my goodness. What kind of reaction would we get? Let's put the lights on. Look at the difference, the ambient light rejection technology. This is not mocking them. This is exactly what they do. So they put their lights in, they show you the ambient light rejection technology. They, don't, they look the same, don't they? It's funny, they look the same side by side, but if you put them together, one actually overpowers another one. One of these days, I'm gonna receive an email over this. And it's not gonna be a pretty one. Now, let's do something with some deep reds in it. Let me admit. You can't eat the same stuff you used to eat when you late at night anymore. You can't. Period. You can't. Last night I had me this huge, massive bowl of spaghetti, which I shouldn't have did. It was a bad idea. Woke up this morning and felt like I had an alien coming out of my chest. Oh my goodness, I'll never do that again. So now I'm finding out that okay, if you get older, there's certain things you can't eat anymore. All right, now we're doing red, okay? So I'm going to show you. I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to put it against here. Right? Okay, we've got to take our lights off for this. There you go. Now you see it? When these companies test their screens out, they will always use a white screen. Any screen, any screen is always going to produce better on a white screen. No doubt about it. All right. The white screen is pretty much the bully of all screens. Now. Our technology, we'll put red. Keep in mind, we're in pause, so it's always darker when you're in pause. The screens only appear to have contrast because you're being tested against a white screen. Like I said, a white screen will make any screen look amazing. Any screen I put up here is going to look good against a white screen. This is, not a, this is not a challenge. It's not a challenge at all. It's too easy. What they should be doing, they should be testing gray screens versus gray screens. That's a challenge right there. That's why we do that. We take a black screen and put it against a black screen. Because the hardest thing to do is to do a demonstration. That's the hard part. I can take a white screen right now, stick it against our black technology, just like they just did. And either way, I will produce a better image on any level whatsoever. Blues, greens, reds, purple, oranges, doesn't make a difference. My image will pull up. Lights on, lights off, doesn't make a difference. It's going to look fantastic because I'm testing against a white screen. There's no challenge there at all, period.
anything I put up against that screen, my screen's always going to be superior because it's going against a white screen. Now, the hard part would be able to test your product against something that is the same color as you. So let's go against a black. What is the difference between your screen and a black screen? Their own, another gray screen. Like, okay. Let's have a look. Before we do this, let's have a little fun here. What is the difference between a... What's the difference between a... Okay, we'll take this one right here. This has a gain, right? We'll take this one right here, and we'll put this in the center right here. Let's see what the difference is. All right, so let's put this one here, like so. We gotta bring it down, forgot, because it has to be aligned. So we'll put that there, like so, okay? All right, still not picking up the black levels. Let's take a screen that would be equal to that, which would be a Dark Star 9. A Dark Star 9 has a 0 0.9 gain, so this is how the Dark Star 9 would, would own up to that screen right there. Dark Star 9 sample sheet. I don't know what I did with it. Just had it a few minutes ago. I lost my Dark Star 9 sample sheet. Ah, my life. All right. I'll find it. In here somewhere. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, this is not it. Not it. We do a matinee black. I'm curious. I'm actually kind of curious. This is a DMP supernova. A DMP supernova. I'm curious about that too. Let's see what happens if we take a DMP supernova and we put it against the uh, pack screen. Let's see what happens. All right. So that's DMP Supernova. Told you, you can look at it, see how black it looks? Reflect the surface. Looks black, doesn't it? But it's not black. It's not black, no. Here we go, found it. All right, that one has a 0 0.8, 0 0.8. This one has a 0 0.9, 0 0.9. What would be the difference? See, they're both the same. Let's see what happens. Put it right there. You lay it flat. You see, with these screens, you gotta lay them down flat. You don't lay them down flat. If the ends pull up, it disrupts the picture quality big time. So they have to lay flat. Because the surface is reflected, which means any curve in the screen is just going to bounce off excess light and it's going to disrupt the quality. So let's see. We have a 9 and we have an 8. What is the difference between the 9 and the 8? This is what they should be doing. See, these are the kind of tests they should be doing. It's not tippy toe our test. Let's make our tests difficult. Let's make them hard. I want, you know, for me on my end, I want them to reach out to me because I want to start asking them questions. How come your tests aren't hard enough? What the heck was going on in that freaking booth over at freaking, um, with, uh, with uh, Elite Screens? Come on now. I don't know if any of y'all saw that, man, but come on. I was talking to a bunch of people. The hallway had more light than the actual room that the screens were sitting in. And all the, screen, the projectors that they had in there were short throw and freaking ultra short throw. How do you have a freaking, I'm guarantee you, I guarantee you that one of those projectors in there had to be at least about four or five thousand, five, five, four or five thousand um, uh, lumens. It had to be four thousand lumens, five thousand lumens. They had to be. They were all four K. I knew all were in there were four K. There were no seven twenty p projectors in there. Every last screen was blocking out a window. It was so dark in that environment. And somebody had to say nerd to say, "Oh, it was the camera." It wasn't the camera. Come on. It was dark in that environment. The hallway had more light than the booth. But that's what they call. It's an ambient light rejection screen. I'm going to tell you something. If I ever get the opportunity to go into one of those booths, my freaking room, my freaking booth is going to look like a freaking showpiece for a car. I'm going to have so much light in there.
All right, there we go. So here's the difference. Let's see what the difference is between the eight. You gotta get them flat. They gotta lay perfectly flat. They don't play flat, then you're gonna have a problem. It's gotta lay flat. Oops, I'm saying gotta lay flat. But there we go. Lay it flat. It's gotta lay flat. I gotta lay flat, flat, flat. All right. All right. Come on, man. Really seriously? You need more tape? Take some more tape right there. It's gotta lay flat. So what's the difference between the two? One's an eight, one's a nine. These are the two darkest screens I own in my category. So these two screens you're seeing right here up here, the darker ones, that's black paint. So what we have here is we have uh, two screens here. Oops. Both of these are black paint. And then over here we have a Dark Star 9 with a 0 0.9 gain on top of, I think the screen is called Paxel or Paxel. I don't know how they pronounce the screen, but it has a 0 0.8. It's must be one of the darkest screens that they have. And this right here is paint. Every day, black house paint. Put this right here. Now, the reason why I have to bring these screens down a little lower, because if I bring them up too high, they become dark. So they have to be in line with the projector. So I have to bring them down to the level of the projector. So that way the image can even show up. Because if not, you're not going to see them at all. All right. So, and in the middle, the great big screen you're seeing is a Supreme 8. This is our technology right here. Also, too, not to beat a dead horse to death, but I'm going to say it anyway. I'm sorry if you just, just upset some people. Keep in mind, our screen is supposed to be now. So that's why I left the bars open on the side. So you can see that this is a screen, physical screen that's not being hit by the projector. That the screen we are displaying is black. Stay up there. Oh, mother freaking George. Yeah, I didn't want to stay. Like, no, I'm going to be exposed for this. They got to be exposed. We got to see this. We got to see this. Come on. Now, I know you're a bit curious. We're all curious. We gotta see this. And that's the one thing, as I said, I don't like about how they do projection screens with these companies. They always test their product against another white screen. Anything can be the white screen. You can be the white screen. You can go to Home Depot right now and just get black and white paint and smear it across a white screen and you would beat that screen in contrast. Now, with our technology, we have to test black screens against our own black technology. What is the difference between our black technology and another black screen? So let's turn, oh, come on, let's get this going. That thing decides to pop off again. Just just look at that right there. Now mind you, in this this right. The DMP, um, not the DMP Supernova, if I can get my thing to pause for a minute, at 100 inches is around $3,000. The Paxil or Paxil, I keep, I'm butchering that name, I do apologize, no disrespect toward them, to daylight screens, is around maybe four grand, right? And then you have our technology, which is a wallpaper projection screen that comes in at $468. Just think about that for a minute, but let's move on. And then the rest of these are just black, black screen paint mixes or black paint. Because they can't produce a white light and that's why the image comes out dirty. But let's see what happens if we were to turn the light on. Because keep in mind, the screens do have very high gain. Ours has, has our screen has an 8. So let's see what happens when we turn the lights on. something a nice beautiful butterfly there we go
So that's pretty interesting. Hey, that's what they should be doing. This is how they should be testing their screens out. They should be testing their screens out against other screens, against their own. Uh, they're going to do a gray screen. Do a gray screen against a gray screen. Don't do a gray screen against a white screen because anything is going to be the white screen easily. Anything. Anything. I can go out, like I said, and make two teaspoons of white paint or black paint together and put that against a white screen. And guess what? It'll be the white screen with no problem. So I was talking about calibrating your projector. Man, calibrating your projector came out on white screens for all the rage. At one point, there was no such thing as a gray screen. Gray screens didn't exist. It didn't exist at all. Everything was basically, it was white. So let's do this right here. We have our black paint, house paint, right there. So what's the difference, Ken? What is the difference, Ken, between your paint and black paint? You want to see it? We want to see the difference between your paint and black paint. Where's the difference? Let's see. We've done this before. I like doing this demonstration with the black. I do. It's fun. You can't pull contrast. Let's go over here and let's pull up something in white. Some bright, bright whites. I think I'm in the same demonstration over here. Yeah, here we go. Let's pull this one up. There. You care to do with lights out? Let's do the lights out, people. Now, I've said this before many times that. Our black technology will not have the ability to be able to pull a white level equal to a white screen. It's virtually impossible. It's like trying to get a white screen to produce a black level equal to a black screen. It's not going to happen. Now, gray screens can produce a slightly little bit of contrast, but they also suffer when it comes to contrast, when it comes to not so much white levels too much, but they do suffer when it comes to contrast. A little bit of white levels because a gray screen will never have the ability to pull the same white level as a white screen. It can't be done. But our black technology can not only pull an amazing freaking contrast level, but on top of that, it has the ability to be able to pull a white level. And produce contrast in a fully lit environment without problem. But let's move on to something even harder than that. We need something really harder than that. All right, let's do this one right. This is pretty good. Some nice bright colors in this one. We'll do this with the lights out. This debunks the theory like, what if I go out and I get myself some black house paint? Can I do the same thing as a Supreme 8? Well, let's see. Oh, and by the way, the projector we're using in the demonstration is 720p. It's not a 1080p projector. It's a 720p ultra stroke. And it's out. It's out. It's, actually, this projector is out of circulation. They don't make it anymore. This is an old projector. I got off eBay for, sorry, eBay. I got off, um, eBay for $89. This is how your screen is supposed to be tested. Testing our black technology against a white screen, pointless. Testing our black technology against other black screens. Now, there you go. 
So this is how you advance your white level. When I tested my technology against a black screen, I could see that my screen wasn't producing a high enough white level. So I had to figure out ways to advance the white levels to make them brighter. So you use a black screen to make your screen even more advanced because what's going to better, what's going to show you the most flaws? All right, now you see how dirty the color can get. Let's get something like really like, ugh. let's go with uh, seems a lot brighter, doesn't it? As I just said before. White screen always produced the highest white level on the face of the planet. There's no gray screen that could ever match a white screen, and there's no black screen that could ever match a white screen. And whites don't fade whether the lights are on or off. It always remains white, no matter what. Black. All right. Put that right there. So how bright the whites are, Damn. it always stays the same, no matter what. The color never changes, it never fades, it always stays the same. Black fades, oh yeah, black fades. If you don't have enough contrast in your screen, the black will fade. Blue will fade, purple, green, orange, all that will fade, but white will never ever fade, it always stays. Now if we take, uh, let me see what we get here, okay. This is silver. Dirt on my screen. Silver right here. We'll take the silver. All right now, if you look at it, as I said before, no screen will ever match a white screen. Silver now is actually darker. So bottom line, it's producing up against a white screen a much darker image. It's kind of funny. It kind of looks like the same image our screen is, and our screen's black. Something to think about. Just a little something to think about. Now, if you take a white screen and you stick it against our screen, the white screen produces a higher white level than our black screen. But when you take a silver screen and you stick it against a white screen, that a silver screen is darker, but it looks like the same as our dark black screen, which is actually physically black. It's that color right there. See? All right, so let's take this off. Because if we were to do a white snowstorm, this would come up brighter. So let's remove that, all right? And let's put this back over, all right? Now let's grab a, uh, let's see, what's the darker screen we got laying around in here somewhere? Uh, here we go. DMP Supernova Blade. Very, very light screen. Oh, it's on a light screen. Let's stick this against here and see what happens. What happens to the white level? So you thought for a minute because it's a gray screen and a gray screen is going to pull up a higher white level. It pulls up a high white level, but never equal to white. A gray screen will never, ever have the ability to equal a white screen on not any level whatsoever. But people think that for some reason when they see white levels on a gray screen, they think they're pulling up natural white levels. No, you're not. You're actually just bringing up a kind of a, a darker shade than white. That's why I can't understand. How do you ridicule our technology? Because our screen produces a slightly darker image when it comes to white, and the screen is physically black, 
And here you have a light gray screen against a white screen, and look at the color is green when it comes to white levels. And if you stand back, and if you look at our screen right here, our screen comes very close to matching the screen right here in the center, even on a white level when matched against a white screen. You got to be fair. Can't sit there and say, oh, it's a black screen. If you take a gray screen or a silver screen, even a light gray screen, and you stick it against a white screen, it's going to come out dark. But let's take this and let's stick this over here. Yes, we're moving all our stuff off here. Let's set up this real quick. You'll stay there, and you will stay there, and you will stay over here. Now, this is what they'll do. They'll take this screen right here, and they'll put it against our screen and go, hmm, let's see what color we'll get here. There. Okay, and they'll stand back and go, well, that screen is, uh, has uh, better white levels than the black screen, right? Look at the white screen. Now, let's go grab, let me see if I can find the lightest screen I can get my hands on. Here we go. This is the lightest screen right here that you can get a cinema gray. What happens if we take a screen this color and we put it against that screen? Will it match? Will it blend in? Let's see what happens. No, it's gray. White screen will always produce the highest white level. That's why you can't sit there and compare our black technology when it comes to white levels to a white screen. Because a gray screen can't even pass a, a, a white screen. So before you come at us and say, hey, your white levels are supposed to be as bright as white. No, never said that. I said in my demonstrations that no screen will ever beat the white levels of a white screen. Our screen can't even do that. It's virtually impossible. But we can produce a white level that's high enough, that's acceptable. But also, too, we can produce a white level high enough than any black screen, which we have proven. Now, if I can take a gray screen and I can stick it against a white screen, and the white screen is going to produce a higher white level than the gray screen, that just proves my theory right there. Nothing's going to beat when it comes to a white screen. Now, if you were to take a gray screen and stick it against a black screen, because now, let's see, gray screen can achieve contrast. If we do a contrast demonstration, of course, we're showing right now an all-white screensaver. So let's switch over to an all-black screensaver. Where the freak is my remote control? That's my favorite line of the day. Where is my remote control? Oh, there it is. So let's go over to an all-black I don't think I can see anything on the board. Let me see all black screen. Here we go, all black screen. So we're switching over to an all black screen. This is going to be all black. Pure black screen, 10, 24 hours. Now, we're in all black. Right now, the projector is projecting a black image, such as before. We're doing a white image, now we're doing a black image. How many of these screens are coming up black? White screen's not pulling black. All right, that's my controller. Gray screen's not black. None of them are pointing up black. The closest one we have here is pretty much. Oh no, I forget it. It's 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 gray. Oh, that's me tripping over stuff. Sorry about that. There we go. Now, okay, I told you about that already. So we can't have this up here. This is a DMP supernova. DMP supernovas do not work with ultra short throw projectors, so that shouldn't be here to begin with. My fault. I apologize. I told you that in the first beginning. They turn black. I throw up an ultra short though. So see right here, an ultra short over here. Watch this. I'm gonna show you something. You can't. They're not ultra short though compatible. So they turn dark. I gotta take that one off. I guarantee it's probably. Yep, I was right. The DMP supernova. All my stuff or what? It's a DMP supernova. They're not ultra short though compatible, so I can't use that. The dark star nine, on the other hand, may be. A little better when it comes to that but just look at this now see I'll take this off remember this remember I put this on the white screen the white screen it couldn't produce a white level now we'll put this against a black screen and I actually projecting a black image let's come over here and let's put this one here all right so we're not picking up any contrast so anything is picking up contrast is our screens picking up contrast and the black house paint the black envelope the black fiberglass, all that's picking up black. 
Doesn't make a difference if your lights are out. My projector has a 10,000 to 1 contrast. You will not see it. Goes both ways. Can't just come at our screen and say, hey, well, look, I match it against a white wall. Your screen can't even pull up a white image, a pure white image. All right. Well, if I can take a gray screen, I can stick it against a white screen. Gray screen can't pull a, white, a pure white image either. But if you take a gray screen and you stick it against a black screen, it can't pull up a black contrast image. And if you take a white screen, it won't pick up contrast either, as you see right here. So check it out. What happens if we pull a color? Let's go to color. So we're going to go to multiple colors. Will it pick up? Which one's going to pick up the best color? Will it be our screen? Will it be the black screens? Will it be the light gray screens? Most people think that when they see a screen, the reason why I do the white demonstration first, because I want you to see the how low the white tones are when it comes to our screen, because I want you to have it in your head to say, oh, there we go. We got you right on camera live, right on camera, right there. I can see it right there. It's your screen is pulling up a darker image when it comes to white. So you swear in the back of your mind, if I pull up the color red, that you think for a split second that because that screen is producing a higher white level, you think you're going to get a brighter white, a brighter red color. It don't work that way. This is how it works. And we can do it with the lights out. It's still going to react the same way. So if I just pull up just a little bit of red. And let's see what we get. Called it. Just because your screen pulls up a higher white level doesn't mean it can pull color. It means it's producing too much white light. Now, let me show you something right here. This right here is the only screen I can see right here that actually is pulling up a proper image next to our technology. You want to see something interesting? Now, before somebody says, well, look at the screen on the far end. It's matching your screen with no problem. Well, check this out. Keep in mind that our screen is jet black. Lights out. These screens, some of these screens have a chance to be able to produce a decent color. If you were to use this screen in a fully lit environment, this is what you would get. Oh, yeah, that's going to happen from time to time. This is, what, this is what you're going to get. Now, keep in mind, as I said before, our screen is black. Uh, yeah, that's going to happen, too. Let me go grab that piece where it fell off. I get the best tape and it still does not work. Let's see. There we go. Come on, man. I can't do a presentation. This crap piece falling off. All right, so look at this right here. But the shade of how light that screen is compared to our black technology. But yet, the technology is pulling up such a high white level, it can bloom that screen. When you do demonstrations on your technology, as I said with Mr. Crow, you have to be able to show hardcore evidence that how your technology works. I can go into any freaking boardroom and show them these demonstrations, just like I'm showing you. And I can prove everything what my technology can do. You're watching a screen that's lighter than my screen, half and half, and you're watching it produce a red level that's bright enough to match the screen that's actually a couple of shades lighter than the screen itself. But still, maintain a nice, solid red without fading. I'm telling you. All right, I'm not saying I will. I'm not saying I will. But if, keep, keep, keep in mind, if any one of these will basically pay you such and such and so to incorporate your technology into one of these screens, what do you think that screen would cost you if these screens had the capability to do this? A black diamond had the capability to pull images up in fully lit environments outside and work with ultra short though, can actually carry a 190 degree viewing angle without going dark. What do you think that screen would cost you? It didn't cost you five grand anymore. They're going to charge you five thousand dollars for that screen. They're going to charge you ten times more for that screen, because you can't afford it. Somebody else can. Think about it. They're charging five thousand dollars for a projection screen. I can afford five grand for a, for a screen. Would I pay for it? No, I'm not paying no five thousand dollars for a projection screen. But if you can afford five grand for if, they, if they're charging five thousand dollars for a screen and their screens are still selling, they're still in the market, they're still a hot commodity. Somebody's paying for it. Somebody's paying for their screens. 
which means they don't care if you can't afford it or not. And they don't care. Look, you can't afford a high power screen, big deal. You get a bottom dollar screen. Go out and get yourself a white screen. You deal with the fact that you can't use your projector properly. You deal with the fact that you can't have that ultimate home theater package that makes you make you drool when you said a home setup. You can't have that. Because if you're not in this particular price range of making this kind of money, you can't have that. It's between the have and have nots. That's what it comes down to. This is where our technology comes in. Because now we can develop technology that will allow you to be able to have something that you're not supposed to have. And you're looking at it right there. Can't get any more clear than night and day than that. I can show you demonstrations from sun up to down. That's what it's all about. The haves and the haves not. You got those who are going to be able to afford the best and those who can't have it. That's why I went and did the promotion. I did the promo. I did the promo as a way to show them that the fact that the bottom line is everybody should be able to have a nice screen. They should be able to. You know what I mean? Even at my screens at four and $500 are far more advanced than some of the technology that they have out here. And it costs less. It costs less than five grand. Five grand over 400. You think about it. You think about it. And then you got the peace of mind to be able to use your screen in a fully lit environment. You don't have to have an expensive projector. My projector right here is 720p. It's a 720p $89 projector. That's what it is. You're going to tell you, oh, no, 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 no. You're going to use this, this projection screen with this, this projector with this screen with this projector? Oh, no, no. You have to spend the money for this projector. You need this kind of, you have to have this and this and that. Spend about three dollars or $4,000 for a projector. All right, somebody didn't realize that screens are expensive. Yes, yeah, some of these screens are here are crazy expensive. And you got to go through a whole bunch of requirements. You got to have so much light per square inch in the room and you got to go through ambient light. Oh, forget it. You know, I'm not going through adjusting my lights. I don't have time to DJ my lights just because every time I want to watch a football game. This gives you something to think about. That's all. You know what I mean? And pretty soon later, I'm going to get an email. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get an email. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get an email saying, hey, look, bottom line is, if you don't like what you're doing, stay away from our stuff. And you're going to hear me come on and say, guess what? I can't do elite screens anymore because of such and so and so. I'm not, no one's saying their product is bad. I'm just saying that I, I wouldn't be, I'm not satisfied with it on my end because I think they should work harder at it. I mean, come on. I mean, really? I mean, that screen right there, I mean, that's their price and all that. I mean, whatever, but still, you know, like I said, on my end, I, I just don't feel it. I don't feel it. Ugh, man. Here we go, look at that. It's a dark gray screen right here. I'm not prepping anything. I, when I do these demonstrations, there is nothing prepped. There's nothing prepared, nothing rehearsed. rehearsed. You're just watching me stick samples on our screen left and right. Bam, bam, bam. Stick samples, samples, samples. If they react, they react. If they don't, they don't. I want you to find flaws in my technology. I'm doing these demonstrations. That's why I don't live. I don't think this is going to stick because this one right here is off. No. Oh, really quick. I don't know. I might get in trouble for this one, but hey, you know, it's worth the fun. It's just, it's just a bit of experiment. So the last demonstration, I was talking about how I'm going to, I bought a $68 white motorized projection screen, which should be here probably like next week. I already finished the stand with set up downstairs because I had to actually bolt frames into the wall so I can hang the screen up. I mean, a motorized projection screen. We are going to coat that. I'm going to show you how to coat the screen. Those are going to ask about motorized projection screens, how to paint them with our technology. We're going to coat that surface with the Supreme 8. We're going to use the uh, promotional kits, one of them. And we're going to paint that screen. Right? So let me see all together. So we're probably about, it's pretty much, it's, the screen is going to cost you only four or five grand, you know. So we'll see what happens. I mean, we're going to design. I'm going to show you how to make your own high professional projection screen we're going to do that we're going to put led lights on it and everything oh, we should do some led lights even do some led lights on it yeah put some led lights on it that's what we're going to do that's what we're going to do there you go that's a gray screen let's see um
There's a gray screen on white levels next to our technology. So that's dark gray. This is what dark gray looks like on a next to a black screen. I love doing the de one of the things I love to do when I do black screens. I love to show up the, when I do the white demonstration. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna shy away from white levels. So put that right there, so you can see for yourself. And then over here we have the we have the that right there is black plexiglass. Anybody had an idea like, hey, let me get some plexiglass. Let me see if I can use it as a black projection screen. There you go. That's what happens when you use black plexiglass. There you go. Um, let's see. What happens if we use black vinyl? Black vinyl? Pretty sure if you had a couple ideas about using black vinyl as a projection screen. You know the back of the screen you're thinking, hmm, that would make a great looking screen. Let's look at it over here real quick. Let's get it. Now I'm going to see it right there. Let's put it right here. Let's put it against the wall right here. All right. Let's take that black screen and put it right here. Ah! Yeah! See what we get. No, no, no. So I ain't got the same color. Anything else in here I can mess around with? And throw up there? It's black? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's go over and let's pull up something else. Mine, this is white, so. Let's go over and let's grab a. Uh, That's what happens when you hit blue. On black house paint. We get that black house paint right here somewhere? That's vinyl. That's vinyl. It's a black house paint. Hold on for a minute. I gotta find the black house paint. It's around here somewhere. Yeah. Last night. I'm a big fan of spaghetti, pasta, and all that other good stuff. I love spaghetti, but I'm old, man. I'm old. I'm 51 years old. I can't eat that stuff anymore. You know what I mean? I can't have the spaghetti sauce and Doritos and all that crap I used to eat when I was young. Can't have that anymore. Last night I decided to have a big bowl of pasta. Woke up this morning, felt like I had an alien come out of my chest. It was not a good idea. I ended up in the hospital. Keep in mind, like I have respiratory issues. So um, imagine having a freaking uh, uh, breathing problem at the same time pop out of my chest. Well, that was not a fun idea to go through this morning. My main concern was just trying to get everything done because I got things, other things that have to be finished off. So let's put this over here real quick. The bottom. All right. So we got dark gray. We got a dark gray screen right there. Now keep in mind, and the he said we were supposed to be this color. That's impossible because we're black right there. So let's put it up against here. So our screen's black. And that's a dark gray screen right there. I wonder what happens if you put in some colorful fish. Let's put some other black grays in. That's interesting. Let's go over to um, let's put some colors, some better colors in. Let's put some fish. Let's see what we get with fish in here. Let's go with some 4K fish. Some 4K fish. Uh, speaking of fish, I can use some of them fish right now. All right, let's pull up. Um, do, 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 do. Grab this one. Should we take the lights out? Let's take the lights out. Now you want to see something interesting? Now as you can see, black screen. Let's see what happens. Will the color blend in? Will it blend in? Let's see what happens if it will blend in. I'm already wired, people, so I'm sorry. If I'm sitting here acting like a cookie, like a real weird dude, I'm, 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 I'm tired. I haven't had sleep in the last couple of days. I've been working on orders. I'm, I'm really, 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 really tired. And when I'm exhausted, I get a little silly. So there's a dark gray screen right there. Keep in mind, I'm explaining something to Mr. Crow real quick, not to be disrespectful or anything. If you have any screen paints this color, I'm going to show you what happens if you stick this into Supreme 8 technology screen. You see that black screen right there? Watch what happens if you take any paint. And your Frankenstein's about this color. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Stick that right in the middle of the screen. And since you like to do lights out demonstrations, watch this. I'm going to show you what happens. Now, keep in mind, I left the border so you can see the black screen's black. Watch what happens. You take a dark green screen and stick it in front of a screen that has the ability to produce a high white level. Let 
we can blend into your screen even with a screen now keep in mind our screen's black and I'm blending into the screen that's why it's white light that's why we can blend into screens like that because we can produce white light but if my screen was the color that you said it was which was black it would come up this color if I tried to blend it into a, a screen yeah. it's kind of look familiar doesn't it surface can't pull white light it pulls contrast but it can't pull white light that's why it's dark and it's dirty where our is black as the same as here it can pull white light that's why now you're probably thinking oh that looks amazing that looks fantastic no 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 it doesn't Uh, Ta-da! See the color technology against even when we're changing them from white to gray. If we take your screen, if I stick it here, it's gray. It's much lighter than our screen. But if I take it from here. And I stick it on here. Then our black image can pull an image high enough to almost blend to that screen. Where the black screen fiberglass is just black. It looks beautiful at one point, but it can't pull level, so that's why it comes out dirty. How about this one? Let's go to this one. back on and keep in mind even if my screen is slightly a little bit a little bit darker my screen is black it's a black projection screen which means it's producing a white level that's high enough to catch up to that screen with no problem let's go over to uh let's go to the tropical islands over here do 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 So your Frankenstein mix will match with our gray screen easily and no problem. And my screen's black. So how is it possible that our screen was so dark we can't pull up an image, you can't see anything? It's not so. Let's pull up uh, uh well okay, here's one for you. Let's pull up something. Here we go. Gray screen can't pull contrast. That's why it's coming to gray. Let's get something a little bit more darker than that. Let's go with um, the LG fish. I like the LG fish. I don't know why. So the thing about it is, okay, no, better yet, better yet, better yet, better yet. Let's do, why don't we do the LG fish? We do the LG fish. No, no, let's do the black levels. Let's do the black levels. Let's do the black levels. Black level test is actually a lot more funner. All right, so let's do the black level test. Black level. Let's see, black, black level test. We got it here, down here, down here. Black, black. Here we go. Okay, 
Backgrounds are always jet black. Always. In any OLED demonstration, the background has to come up jet black. It can't come up gray. It can't come up a shade of gray. It has to be black. All right, take the lights out, see if we blend the screen. Can't pick up a black level, it's gray. You think you're seeing black, but you're not seeing black. You're actually seeing a dark shade of gray. Now see the plexiglass? The plexiglass is black. See where the fish is protruding out from our screen? Let's go pull up the Starfield demonstration. That's a hard demonstration. That'll show you exactly what you're really getting. Let's go pull up a Starfield. for a demonstration there you go in its screens dark gray it can't pull contrast it is pulling a dark shade of gray if you bring it back here you think you're seeing black you're not seeing black you're seeing a dark shade of gray dark gray screens can't pull contrast We're going to pop the lights on. Well, let's see what happens to the light. It's gray. Now, as you look at the black screen, let's look at the black screen. Everybody look at the black screen. Wow, the black screen is pulling up amazing contrast levels. Yes. Because you know why it's pulling up such amazing contrast levels? Because it is oversaturated with contrast. Too much contrast. If you have too much light levels, you got too much contrast levels. They play hand in hand. So that looks amazing, doesn't it? Contra any black screen can pull contrast. Problem you have with black a screen that pulls too much of a heavy contrast. Can pull contrast. It can't pull white levels. White levels. If you don't have white levels, you can't pull natural color. The color comes up too dark. If the color is too light, it can't pull contrast, which means the image comes up faded. You have to have a perfect image. This is what Supreme Technology does. It gives you a perfect in between. No calibrating your projector, no worrying about your projector 720p or 4K. This is a 720p projector I'm using right now. 720p, that's it. No 4K, no 4K pixel shifting, none of that nonsense. 720p projector, that's it. Let's go grab yourself another. Let's grab, grab some food.
I have all my lights on in the environment, I can watch whatever I want. Oh, I got an eye opener for some of you. A really big eye opener. Y'all like sports? Let's check out some. Let's check out some NFL highlights. Let's check this out. This is going to be a good one. Let's check out some NFL highlights. This ought to be real interesting. All right, let's go over here. Let's put in the NFL highlights. Yes, 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 yes. What is it? All right, any game will work. Anyway, it doesn't make a difference. Let's see what we get. It's pretty ugly, doesn't it? It's really ugly. Let's uh, let's pull up. Um, let's see. Which one act right here? Let's go over to. Uh, hold on for a minute. I'm gonna put Avatar in. You might want to hold on to this one. Let's see what Avatar looks like. Like the paint saying, you're going to embarrass me for the last time, darn it. I'm not going to have this nonsense. Let's pull up Avatar. Do Avatar real quick. We'll do a couple of movies in here real fast. Let's pull up the trailer for Avatar. I think this was it, right? One of these was it. I think it's this one. We don't have paint on the wall. Oh, wait. So hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. Let me show you something, my friend. There is no paint on the wall. This is wallpaper technology. Let me show you something. No, no, no. Buddy, look. Let me show you something. This is a wallpaper screen. See that right there? There is no paint on the wall. This is wallpaper. The screen you're seeing that's displaying in black, this is wallpaper technology. I, you thought it was painted on the wall, didn't you? This is not painted on the wall. This is a physical projection screen. We developed these. It's a wallpaper screen right there. There's no paint on the wall at all, period. See this right here? Move my hand. There you go. I wanted to show him that real quick because I think he thought this was painted on the wall. No. That's a fixed frame screen behind you right there. All my screens are here are fixed frame. Nothing's painted on the wall. That's wallpaper. That's the technology we developed. It's a pre-coded surface that will allow you to be able to stick the screen onto the wall. And they're so thin that they look like they're painted onto the wall with an actual physical screen. That's a wallpaper. But it's actually painted on the wall. The paint that you're seeing out on, on, on the edges, that's where the projector is overlapping the screen. And you're getting just the white edges. That's all you're getting. This is a screen. This is not paint. But I can see where you thought that it was a painted image, a painted uh, screen on the wall. Now, this is actually a wallpaper screen. This thing comes off. I get a few people try to get it. They try to debunk my theories and stuff like that. But, you know, I got to come in and show them. No, 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 no. That's not. The, the, what you're seeing, see the light gray up there? That's from the projector. When it overlaps the screen, that's all it is. That's all. Now, if that was an actual associated image come across the top, there's no image coming to talk, ca across the top. That means that's the overshadow of the lumens from the projector casting up. That's all it is. That's all it is. 
few people thought actually, you know, not not to, I'm putting down any way. A few people thought literally it was, it was painted on a wall, and it's not painted on a wall. It's an actual physical screen. It's just that what you're seeing is you're just seeing where the lumens don't, well, actually, I actually haven't had the chance to adjust the projector to the screen. It's where the projector actually is. Now, if I were to basically do something like this, hold on for a minute, I'll show you something. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to show you something for a minute. Let's go over to, uh, If I were to go over to something like uh, this right here, so I'm gonna play this video right here, right? All right, we'll keep it, we'll keep it right there. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust my projector. What the freak? Hold on. I do apologize for that. Let me go back and take and pause this again. If I can't get my freaking controller that right. All right. Now I'm gonna show you something. We're gonna take turn our lights on. All right, and I'm going to, because I don't have lens shift on this uh, projector, okay, so I don't have lens shift. I'm going to move out the pieces that actually make it fit the screen. And now we got half of it onto the ceiling right now. Now you got half on the ceiling. There you go. That's what it would look like if I had half the screen pushed up on my ceiling. So now I'm getting a half and half. Now you're getting, now you're seeing what it looks like, Okay, right? So let's take our lights out. There you go. Now you see the contrast is going? There's no contrast there at all, period. See how dark it's supposed to be here, and that's not there. I don't put any lights on the environment. But I can understand when you got the theory where you thought that the screen was actually a, uh, you thought it was actually a, um, a, um, Uh, my walls aren't gray. My walls are green. That's a green wall. These walls are green. They're not gray. And if you're trying to debunk the theory by saying, well, they're, they're gray, the gray's showing up better? No, 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 friend. Sample sheets for days, man. I've tested my screens on just about everything. Tell me where that looks nice to you. Hold on for a minute. So what did you say about the grays again? Because that right there is an elite screen. That's a uh, Cinema Gray 5D. That's not a kind of screen you can laugh at. That's not gray screen paint. That's a professional screen. So what was your theory on gray screens again? Please enlighten me. Gray screens can't pick up contrast. I know you're probably a big supporter of gray screens, but you're looking at it right here. It's live. Wait, wait, I ain't done yet. We got one, we got, we got more. How about that one? We're gonna try this one next. The 
The problem is that you've never seen black technology, real tech black technology, next to one of these screens. I can stick screens up here all day long. I got DMP Supernova, name a screen. You want it? Only one I ain't got in my collection is Black Diamond. I plan to get that one next. Let's move these over. This is actually black vinyl. Let's take that black vinyl. Put that up there a little better. Let's put your screen right there. How about that? There you go. What you got? And keep in mind, my projector here has a 10,000 to 1 contrast. At 3,300 lumens, sitting less than two feet away from the screen. Let's do that demonstration with the LG Fish. How about that? That's another dark demonstration. Come on, you know what? Let's do it with this one. Just because it's right there. This isn't crow screen paint mix. That's an elite screen sitting up there. That's a screen that costs you $1,200 easily. How about this? What about silver? You think silver would do good? Let's do silver. Let's put the silver right here. No contrast. Completely white washes. Washes right on out. No contrast. How about this? Let's do uh let's do some OLED. I like doing an OLED fish. How about this? Let's do here's here's an experiment for you. And turn on all your lights and do an OLED demonstration and see if your screen pulls up. Just like this. No tan around the edges, straight black. Now, the reason why I got the black screens up there is to show you that even though our screen is black, we can pull up a higher white level than a black screen. We were pulling a better contrast than an elite screen that's gray that has higher white levels. Just because I mean it's going to pull out a high white image, a brighter image. It's going to pull out a image. full contrast with the lights out on a gray screen even with a 10,000 to 1 contrast on an ultra short throw projector my throw distance isn't that long so I'm not losing any lumens I'm hitting that screen with probably a good amount of probably about 3,000 maybe more right directly to the screen because the throw distance is short any OLED demonstration the background will always come up black if it doesn't come up black that means the screen is not producing contrast Well, I said, be careful when you use the theory with me when you talk about gray screens, just I'm telling you. Now, keep in mind, like I said, consider the fact that when Crow Screen Paint comes down here on the 21st, it'll be on the 21st, I'm testing my products against Elite's top screens. What do you think a screen paint is going to happen when it hits that screen? Let's go over real quick and let's pull up now. Look, I'm gonna show you real quick. So, because I know you're dying to see white levels on this, right? Let's pull white levels up for you. Because I know you're itching. Most people see me do this, they're itching to see those white levels. So let's pull up a white level. All white screens saver, right? For you. That's our technology on all white. Now, like I said, the white screens here, the gray screens, the elite screens are pulling up a much higher white level. But if you look at the black screens, our screen can pull up a higher white level than any black screen. Now, how does that affect color? It affects color in a big way. If you pull up, like I said before, again, if you pull up too high of a, contra a black level, your colors come out dirty. If you pull up too high of a white level, then your colors come out faded.
happens a lot, trust me. It's the, it's, it's, it's the, uh, where's my comments? Like, you know, I ain't going through this anymore. Done. All right, let me just go pull this up real quick. And you got to see what happens to gray. Gray is not pretty. All right, so hold on for a minute. Let me get this over real quick, real quick. And grab this piece that just fell off. Decided to surrender like I'm done. Stay. Okay. And there you go. I read my case. As I told you before, the white levels, screens, screens are lighter gray. We're going to have a problem pulling color, where the darker screens are going to have a problem pulling a white level. Let's go over to. I had this color change. It was pretty cool. I think it was in red. I said pull up the gray. We're going to do the gray. Let's see what happens when we pull gray. Colors are gray. Shades of gray. What do we get when we pull up gray? This right here is dark gray. Which neither one are pulling up. It's just light gray. Now keep in mind the whole entire time that's gonna happen a lot. Let's go let's get him to stay. Hold on for a minute. Let me really let me really get him to stay in the really good. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, everybody stay up here. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, there we go. We got them up there real good. All right, so that's light gray right there. No, it's actually kind of a mid gray. Right there. Right. That's both dark gray and darker gray. Mm, okay, that's not no good there. Let's put the red. We did red already, didn't we? We did red, right? Yeah, we did red. Mm. See, red fades the fastest on a gray screen. Look at that. It fades the fastest, it does. Up, uh, pink. There you go. That's the reason why you gotta sit there and calibrate your projector because your screen won't pull up. Because bottom line, it fades. Let's check the lights out and see what happens. See if we get any improvement in the lights out. The only screen I see up here that pretty much is doing its job correctly is the gray cinema i think it's a gray cinema 3d which is actually right here on the corner right there but the only thing about that screen like i said it has that reflective material which bothers me because it means it may have a problem with being able to okay that's just getting kind of weird now so it has a reflective material but like i said now if you look at the color look at the color of our screen our screen is black look at the color of it right let's take half of this screen off Right here, and let's just stick half of that right there, half and half, like so. Look at this. So keep in mind, my screen being black and this screen being silver, my screen is producing a high enough, bright enough color to be the match silver. Easy, and it's black. Let's see what happens when we turn the lights on. All right here, the color changes. It washes out. Color remains the same all the way through. I can't show anything else more, people. I don't know what else I could show you. I showed you contrast levels, the difference between our black technology and other black screens. I showed you the difference between white screens and gray screens. Fellow talking about gray screens, different gray screens, that. I, I'm not using gray screen paint mixes. I'm using high professional screens over here. Screens that have weight to them. These screens right here were actually in that show they had over there. Or right at that booth or wherever it's over there. So I'm showing you what it is. 
Now, sooner or later, one of these days, and I hate to say it, but I always say, take advantage while the product is here, because next year, some big things are happening. Now, I don't know whether or not we're still going to be dealing with customers or not, but like I said, things change. But right now, we're going to be dealing with everybody. We're going to be doing selling paint here and there, whatever. But you never know. Things might change. I mean, right now, we're going to be going into physical projection screens pretty soon. And that means there may be no more paint. There may be just physical screens only. Depends on what happens. Depends on how things go. I got, I got three contracts that are in negotiation right now as we speak on this stuff. The Supreme 9 and Supreme 10, are, 10 is already locked. It's already been locked already, which means it was locked by a company. So, we're doing demonstrations on this level. Keep in mind, you might get to a point where you might not be to get this paint for that price anymore. You might be in, in a section of the have and have nots, which I'm kind of hoping it doesn't go that way because that's the whole reason why I didn't get into this business to begin with. I got into this business to make things even Steven with everybody else, but <sighs> whatever. Well, okay, so let me, oh, wait, 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 all right, so I'm building the frame already for the motorized projection screen. I'm going to paint a motorized projection screen live to show you how to paint your own motorized projection screen using the Supreme. I've been streaming. When I went upstairs, it was daytime. Oh, something like that. There we go. This, these are projectors that a friend gave to, me, to him at his church. So these are, old, these are old projectors. The only thing wrong with the bulbs don't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to repair them and I'm giving them away to charity. I'm going to clean them up, give them with a good, a, a free screen. Those are going to charity. Because, you know, you got, you got people, youth groups, stuff like that, that want to have their own screen for kids and stuff like that. I think that'd be pretty cool to do some screens for the kids. This right here, people, is the last. This is the last of the, uh, of the, uh, the promo card is closed. Officially closed. The last. So those are going out tomorrow. Those are the orders that are actually going out tomorrow. These are already sold already. Somebody bought those already. Those are the, uh, the, we got one, actually we got one left on the website right now. One's left on the website for the Sony uh, VPL projectors that come with that 180 inch screen and a gallon of the screen paint. So we got one of those left on the website. When that's gone, that's finished. And out of the promotional paints that we have for going for 179, uh, this is the end of it. Once these are gone, that's it. So actually, as a matter of fact, Two of these are going to these. These guys already bought those already. That's theirs. All right, so get a cookie real quick. No, I'll forget. I'll get it later. Let's go downstairs. It's going to get a little choppy because I'm going to be down in the basement. I'm sure you don't work on in the basement right now. Projection screen for the um, for the uh, motorized projection screen coming in. I ordered one from Amazon. And the way these walls are made downstairs, they're stucco. Like this giant wall right here is a giant stucco wall, right? So anyway, they're stucco. So what I had to do was I had to put in a frame so I can hang a motorized projection screen up here because there's no place to hang, to hang anything up here in this place. I mean, I have no place to hang any motorized projection screen for any demonstration. So this is the screen. That, this is not the screen. This screen was already bought. This is bought this. This is going to be going down into his, um, his man cave for him. Um, as for the new screen that's coming, it's the same screen. I'm going to paint it right over here for the demonstration, show you how to paint the screen. Once it dries, we're going to hang it up. And on top of that, I bought some extra lights because it's never bright enough in here. We need more light. Yes, yeah, so I got some floodlights. So we're going to put floodlights all on the top of here. I'm going to have the light coming right down on top of the screen. So I still got some more work to do. I got some more work to finish up. See my messy environment? This is how messy my environment gets. So yeah, this right here, this is a projector I got right here. This is a, uh, this is a, uh, a DLP. Project. This is 10,000 lumens too. DLP Ultra, no, short throw projector that I have. So this is the project I'm working on right now. And because the way the screen was designed, I mean, the way the, uh, it was too far out, I had to build an extend piece. So see my extend piece right here, design right here? That's my extend piece. So I can get the screen to hang out. Got it evenly. So once this is all done, we'll get this coated. And uh, we'll do the demo. I'll do the demonstration live so you guys can watch me paint the screen, and that way you can learn how to. Oh, I gotta go. My battery's dying on my phone. I'm near dead. All right, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here real quick. If you're interested in that promotional screen paint, that's left. When it's gone, it's gone. So it's going for $179 to paint your own elite screen if you want. It's up to you. Uh, these are wallpaper screens. These are the wallpaper screens. Somebody bought these already. All right, I gotta go, and God bless. Battery's dying.